Today I want to share with you all of the makeup and skincare that I've used up in I would say the last seven months. So I have a ton of products and I'm going to do really, really quick reviews on each product. And since I'm going to go through all of these products really, really fast, I'm probably going to do a part one and part two, because if you could see all of the products that I have sitting in front of me, it's probably over a hundred items and way too much for one video. And if you see a product that you want more information on, leave me a comment down below. I'm usually really good about replying to almost every single comment, especially if you leave me a comment on day one or day two of a video going up. If you leave a comment weeks later, I may or may not see it because sometimes they kind of get hidden. I have a lot of really awesome products in this pile and unfortunately quite a few duds this time. I tried to put everything in categories. So what I will also do is down below in the description box, if you're like, I could care less about sunscreen. I hope you're not thinking that, but say there's a category that you're not interested in body products or hair. I'm going to link down below the timestamps of when I start talking about all the hair empties, when I start talking about the sunscreen empties, empties. This way, if you don't want to watch this entire video, I wanted to make it a little bit easier on you. So if you only want to see all of the serums that I use for my face that I like or dislike, then you can skip right to that section. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if that helps when I do timestamps for the different categories that I discuss. So since I have these all lined up here, the first category I'm going to do is body products. This is a body lotion I get on Amazon. I absolutely love it. It kind of shocked me how much I love this product. This is their retinol one. They have all different types, but this has a base of like shea butter, sunflower oil. I think it has some chamomile. It is extremely moisturizing, but it doesn't leave my skin greasy. So this is something I will continue to purchase. If you enjoy taking baths, I love to put magnesium flakes or Epsom salt, things like that in my bath. This is one that I really enjoyed because this one is 100% pure magnesium flakes. If you have achy body or pains in your body, or maybe when you're sleeping at night, you start to get like leg cramps, your body might be needing magnesium. And if you're not really into taking supplements, one way I like to get magnesium, I do take a magnesium supplement, but I enjoy putting it in a nice warm bath and soaking in it and this is an Epsom salt soak and so is this I really like these I have a discount for these by the way I think it's 26% off and this is one that has eucalyptus and white willow in it this one's probably my favorite and this one has frankincense and bergamot in it for a little treat I do enjoy using these and this one also has arnica which is good for aches and bruising things like that and this one has CBD in it as well another one I like as you can tell I like taking baths I like soaking in the bathtub but this is one by the brand Ahava I really like this brand their hand cream is my all-time favorite hand cream but this is their Dead Sea Salt Bath Salts, and I really like this one as well. Again, if you have aches and pains, or you know, you just wanna kinda have a nice relaxing bath, try adding something like that into your bath water. I just think it totally transforms it. This is a shower gel that I absolutely love. This is an exfoliating shower gel, but it's very gentle. This is by the brand Sanitas. If you self tan, or maybe your skin just feels kinda dry and crusty, and you want a nice exfoliation without scrubbing, this is something, it's a chemical exfoliant, but it's very gentle, it's not intense but I absolutely love the way my skin feels when I get out of the shower. Sometimes I almost forget to put on a moisturizer afterwards because this makes my skin so moisturized and so soft and glowy immediately just with one use. Using an exfoliating shower gel is really nice to use especially before you self tan because if you self tan and you haven't exfoliated your body it's not going to be smooth and pretty and I have self tanner on. I just did it last night before I went to bed. This is the one I use. It's now finally empty. This I'd have to say is probably one of my favorite self tanners because it's so easy you just mix it with the body moisturizer and you're done you know if you're gonna put body moisturizer on anyways put a few drops of this in I'll do like a few drops for each arm you know and a few drops for each leg and this this one lasted me quite a long time because you know I don't self tan all the time this is a self tanner that really let me down I couldn't even finish it it makes me look kind of like green when I first put it on it's weird the the tint that's in it but I thought, well, maybe that'll go away after then I, you know, let it process and then rinse it off. But it still leaves like a strange, I don't like the tone that it gives my skin. And I really thought I was going to love this one. And, you know, it's kind of pricey. So the one I did like from Vita Liberato, I think I got these as a sample. This is the same thing, phenomenal, but these are like the tan cloths. And I like these for travel. It's kind of like a little thin cloth washcloth in here. And it's soaked in all that self tanner and I felt like this was really easy to use. I got these I think as a sample or something in a gift bag but I would definitely purchase these. Another one I really liked, I got this at the drugstore. This is by Jergens. This is their Soul by Jergens. Now I haven't tried the tanning mousse or gel that they have but I just bought these for travel. 
Again, these are tan cloths. I really like tanning cloths because they're just, they're fast, they're easy. The one lotion I love to mix these tan drops with is this one by City Beauty. This is their Invisicrape Body Balm, and just a little bit of this goes a long way. So I especially like this on my arms. I don't usually put this all over my body because I don't like to waste it. I'll do like my knees, things like that. But I feel like I had started noticing like some crepiness around here on my arms a while back. And then when I started using this, I have no crepiness whatsoever. Not only does it help get rid of that crepey skin, but it is so moisturizing, but it doesn't leave me greasy. Another body lotion that I always have, this is by Aveeno. I really like this one. I've used it for many years. It's their daily moisturizing lotion. I've tried the one that's for like extra dry skin. I didn't like it. It was really, really sticky. And this is the one that's fragrance free. I do like fragrance in my body products. I don't like fragrance on my face, but I don't know. I just enjoy this fragrance free one the best. This is a lotion from CeraVe. I like a lot of CeraVe products, but I did not like this. I couldn't even finish it up and I was going to give it to my mother-in-law, but I figured she would be mad at me because it's so awful. This is their Diabetics Dry Skin Relief Hand and Foot Cream. And I'm not a diabetic, neither is my mother-in-law, but I just thought, oh, I bet it's nice and moisturizing and really seals in. And I thought this would be really nice on my feet. This has a urea in it, which I actually really enjoy using products that have urea, but this was terrible. I have to get up and wash my feet at night because I cannot sleep with this on even the smallest amount. It's that uncomfortable, suffocating, sticky, and then it feels like dry and weird. It's, I can't stand this. Have you guys tried this? Did you have good results with this? Oh, I'm just gonna toss it. It is that bad. I bought this from CeraVe. I wanted to try it out. This is their salicylic acid body wash. Now, I don't necessarily have acne or anything on my body. I do get it on my face. I felt like it's kind of pricey, you know, for a body wash. I really wasn't impressed with it. I mean, maybe if I was suffering with like maybe acne on my back or something like that, I'd be able to know if it really worked well. But for things like acne, I like more leave-on products versus something that I'm just, you know, going to wash off. But it has great ingredients. It's fragrance-free. So, you know, if you know someone that's dealing with acne on their body, maybe they would like something like this. I bought this for the shower. This is by Dr. Teals. I was just trying to see if I could find a really inexpensive shower mist. This is like eucalyptus and you just spritz it in and when it touches the hot steam from the shower, it's supposed to transform your shower into like a beautiful spa experience. But I did not like it. It smells, I mean, it just smells like fake fragrance and it didn't make the shower enjoyable at all but I didn't want to waste it. So what I did, I had an old poopery bottle, you know, one of the things that you spray in the toilet before you go to the bathroom. And I made my own poopery with it and it worked perfectly. So this way I didn't waste it, but I didn't like it. But one that I do love for my shower, I've talked about this many times. I found these on Amazon. I have every single scent. This one is just the pure eucalyptus and it's just pure essential oil. None of the fake chemicals, fake fragrances that you're breathing in. I love essential oils to make my house smell really yummy. Some of them have citrus also. Some of them have lavender. It just depends on what scent you like. This one, just the plain eucalyptus is one of my favorites. You literally just need one spray. Ooh, I do see a little left in here. Mm, let's just try it. Yeah. You literally just need one spritz of it. Turn your shower on spray it in there and it will make your whole bathroom smell like you're in a luxurious spa. I love doing a lot of pampering, you know, body care. This is something I've had for many, many years. This one's probably 10 years old. I've had this for such a long time, but you just put these, they're like almost like a really coarse nail file, but they're this, let me just show you. And you just pop this in here. And then when you turn it on, this rotates really, really, really fast and you use this on your feet. There's no filing back and forth or anything like that. You just hold it on there, move it around, and I tell you, the first time I tried it, it was so neat because, I mean, it's gross, but it takes off all the dead skin on your feet. My feet afterwards, they just feel like a newborn. That's how super soft they are. But then what I like to do for fun, this isn't something that you need, I got these at the grocery store or, you know, the drugstore. These are by Aveeno. Aveeno is a brand that I do really like, but these are their repairing Sika foot masks. They're like little plastic bags that have all kinds of good lotion in them basically, but it's like putting a ton of lotion on and sealing it with plastic. So you could kind of do it for free without buying this. But after you take it off, rub it in, your feet are so silky smooth. But look down at your feet right now, or feel your feet. If your feet feel crusty, if they don't feel soft, if they're like snagging on the sheets, you might wanna look into something like this because it's fast too. That's the other thing I like. I even got my husband one, and he is so not into you know taking care of his body the way I am. 
but he loved it. I think because it's so gross but cool and like satisfying at the same time watching all of the dead skin just come right off. So this is a little gadget, it's not that expensive, but I think this is really, really worth it. Now let's talk about sunscreens that I used up. Now I accidentally threw probably three or four of my sunscreens away. I go through a sunscreen, at least one bottle a month, you know, but I rotate all my sunscreens. The very first one, this is one of my absolute favorites. This is by the brand Color Science. This is their Sun Forgettable Total Protection SPF 50. This is an all mineral sunscreen, it is beautiful. I have combination oily skin, but people with dry skin love it. But if you have not tried this and you're tired of trying sunscreens that irritate your skin or burn your eyes, you can put this all over your eyes, but it is so pretty on the skin. Now, I absolutely love this and I will keep buying it, but their new Flex SPF that has the tint to it, it is amazing because on the days that I'm in a hurry, it's your sunscreen and your foundation all in one. That's how amazing it is. I guess I'll just share all the color science empties. I used up two of their three in one total eye. This is something I've used for many, many years. This is just like a peach color corrector. If your skin is lighter than mine, it could work as your concealer, but it's not necessarily to conceal imperfections. It's really good at brightening the under eye. It's a good color corrector if you have any darkness and it's moisturizing, but it's an all mineral sunscreen. So I keep one of these in my purse. I also use these before I put on concealer in the morning and you know, midday if my under eyes are kind of just looking dry and icky. And it's great to reapply sunscreen throughout the day as well. I used up two, I don't know where the insert went for this, but I used up two of their brush on sunscreens. This is another way that I like to touch up my sunscreen throughout the day. This one still has some in it, but go look at your sunscreens. Push pause, go look at your sunscreens. If they are expired, you need to throw them out. But this just expired last month, so I am not gonna continue using it because with sunscreen, that is not something I wanna take a chance with. One time I purchased a brand new sunscreen at the store, went to the beach, kept reapplying constantly, stayed in the shade, but I still ended up getting the worst sunburn and because the sunscreen was expired and I didn't realize it. I actually shared on my Instagram maybe a couple weeks ago, I was in the store and just don't ask why I like to look at expiration dates on products in the store. And sure enough, some of their sunscreens were expired. So make sure you go look at your sunscreen and see if it's expired. When you purchase a sunscreen, make sure you check the date to make sure it's not expired. And if you have a sunscreen that you bought last year that you're thinking you'll use this summer, throw it out. Even if it doesn't expire for a couple months, if you've had it that long, chances are the properties in it are not really gonna protect you as well. Be really cautious with that. Another sunscreen I absolutely love, and I accidentally threw away one maybe two of these that's how much I use this this is by the brand dermatology they now have new packaging love this sunscreen this is supposed to be a dupe or almost identical to the super popular Elta MD UV clear sunscreen I use that for years loved it and then when I tried this it it really is identical but I actually like this one better than the Elta MD plus the price of this is amazing I think it's with my I have a discount code for this brand I think it comes to like 17 bucks with the discount, so it's like almost half the price of what you would pay for Elta MD. And this is a sunscreen that looks so pretty underneath my makeup. It kind of acts as a primer and sunscreen all in one, but you know, for the quality and the price, this one just really can't be beat. This is a sunscreen I used up, but I did not like it. This is by the brand Skin Authority. This is their Skin Suit Face. It's a really lovely moisturizing sunscreen, but I won't repurchase it just because I just didn't like how slimy my face kind of looked afterwards love this sunscreen this is by pipette i shared this in a few affordable videos you get a huge amount in here there's four ounces in this this is good even if your skin is my color or even darker it is a all mineral sunscreen it's zinc oxide but it blends in and doesn't leave an icky white cast it's also an spf 50 i really like this but I like it on my face, but sometimes it's just a little too moisturizing for me, but not greasy, greasy looking like the other one. You get four ounces in here, so I also will use this on my shoulders and on my arms. This is by the brand Skin Medica. This is their Essential Defense SPF. I think it's a 32. Yeah, it's a th SPF 32, but it has a nice tint to it. I'm gonna show you one that I have sitting here in my makeup bag. This is the sunscreen I have on today. So maybe you can see the tint. The tint, it's an all mineral and it's zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, but it's got a nice dark tint. And so it blends right into my skin. No white cast, nothing. I mean, it virtually just 
soaks right in, blends right in, and you don't have to rub and rub and rub forever because the color of this tint is darker than most tints out there. So if you are looking for a sunscreen, you know, if your skin is my color or even darker, this is a beautiful mineral sunscreen because that's a problem my husband has always had. He's darker than I am. Most mineral sunscreens just leave a bit of a white cast. Now this one by Pipette, he does have to rub this in a little bit, but there's no white cast afterwards. But with this, since my husband is not willing to take the time to rub it all in, he wants to pump, 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 rub it in, and he's done, and he's able to do that with this, even though I would rather him actually take the time to make sure it's spread properly. I buy this every single time I can get it on sale. This brand is hardly ever on sale, so when it is on sale, follow me on Instagram if you wanna know when things pop up on sale, because I don't often post as much on YouTube as I do on Instagram. So when there are really big sales on products that I know you guys might like or things that I love, I try to share the sales there because sometimes sales are just like a one day a one day thing. So it's just easier for me to post it on Instagram. But this is one I will continue to purchase over and over and over. I love this sunscreen. This is also one that a lot of doctors will recommend after you've had some type of a laser or procedure done to your face because it is so gentle. It never breaks me out. This is my go-to one when my face is feeling angry angry or broken out. This is also the sunscreen that I keep in my purse. I have like a little small squeezy tube of it and I'll just keep filling it up with this. This is what I keep in my purse so midday when I want to touch up my sunscreen, I put it right over top of my makeup. I'll just kind of lightly press it on and then I'll take my brush on sunscreen and kind of set it with that. Another brush on sunscreen that I'm throwing out because I didn't finish it. See the problem with what I do is I'm always trying so many products so unfortunately I don't get to finish up a lot of products before they expire and I did not realize this but this actually this is about to expire this month but even though it's gonna expire this month, I'm not willing to keep using it because I've probably had this for a year, and I love this one. This is by the brand Derma E. I do like this one by Color Science better because especially if you don't like using face powders, which I don't really wear powder that much anymore, this is so finely milled, it doesn't even look like you have powder on. This one does look a little more powdery. This is perfect if you have oily skin. It's still a great brush on sunscreen, and it's a great price, but it's about to expire. I'm not willing to take the chance. You know, it's sunscreen, so I have to throw it out. This is a primer, but it's an SPF 50, and this is by the brand MAD or MAD Skincare. It's kind of thick, but this is great if you like uh, face primers. It's expired, that's why I'm getting rid of it. You know, if I'm gonna use a face primer, I like to use one that does have an SPF 50 in it. And if this is something you're interested in, I do have a discount code for this as well. And the last sunscreen is one of my absolute favorites. This is by the brand City Beauty. This is also a face primer as well, a face primer and a sunscreen, but it is loaded with some amazing ingredients. This is, I've gone through two of these already. When I use this before I do my makeup, not only am I getting that extra sun protection, this is an all mineral SPF 39, but it fills in my pores and it makes my skin look so smooth before I put on foundation. You know, you could use this all over your face as your only source of sunscreen, but then I feel like I'm wasting it. So I like to specifically use this as my makeup primer, but I love that it really locks that makeup in for the day. And of course, it's an all mineral sunscreen on top of it. The final category today, I'm gonna do makeup. Some makeup I cannot stand and some that I really enjoy. I don't go through makeup obviously as much as I do skincare, but I did save some of the makeup this time since I rarely will put makeup in my empties. And then that'll be the end of this video and then I'll have part two and I'm gonna share hair products. I'm gonna share all my favorite face serums and some that I thought were terrible. So all of that will be in part two. This is probably my all-time favorite mascara. This is by City Beauty. This is their Beyond Mascara. This mascara, I didn't like this when I first tried it. They sent it to me and I was like, oh, I don't like it. And then I put it in my makeup bin. I didn't get rid of it. And then about two weeks later, I tried it and I thought, what the heck, this stuff is amazing. I've gone through probably three of these already. I didn't like it at first because it's got like um, little fibers in it that will help make your lashes look longer. It like attaches to the ends of your lashes and, and will make them look like you have longer, fuller lashes. And I guess I just couldn't figure out how to use it the first time I tried it. But now this is pretty much what I use almost every single day when I'm not testing something new. I don't have this on today because I'm testing something else, but 
this is an amazing mascara but not only is it a mascara you know how some mascaras when you use them your lashes just kind of feel crunchy and dry and then sometimes you notice them falling out a lot this also is kind of like a lash serum in the mascara so it's very nourishing for your lashes i notice that when i don't use this mascara and i start testing other ones my lashes start getting brittle fall out this will keep my lashes super healthy this is one that i will always have in my makeup bag i love it that much oh I also have a discount code for City Beauty. I think it's 15% off, so I will link that down below. And again, sometimes these go on a really big sale, sometimes 30%, 40% or 50% off. If you follow me on Instagram, that's when I will share when all of the big sales pop up. So usually when I buy makeup and skincare, I don't pay full price. I wait until there's a huge sale and then I'll stock up and buy a few of them. Something I like to use with this mascara, this is their City Lash. I really like this, but I rotate between this and Revitalash. So that's what will help my lashes to grow longer and healthier. But this is one, I feel like when I use any lash growth serum, when I use just one all the time, it's like my lashes kind of stop growing. But what I'll do is I'll use one tube of Revitalash and then I'll use one tube of the City Beauty City Lash and then I uh, keep rotating back and forth. And I feel like with this, this one doesn't necessarily make my lashes as long and fast as they grow with the Revita Lash, but this one I think makes my lashes healthier because a lot of times with Revita Lash, I get like these rogue lashes that just kind of grow out of nowhere and there's no way you can train it to go back with the lashes. I have one on the side here and it's like hanging out on its own and I notice that always happens with Revita Lash. It drives me bonkers, but I enjoy the length I get with Revita Lash. When I use this, my lashes are extremely soft, very healthy, nourished. They do grow, but I don't have like those rogue hairs that are like trying to do their own thing. So I really enjoy using this product. I've talked about how much I do not like these Fenty Beauty lip glosses before. I Now, let me, let me go back. I like that they are pretty shiny glosses and they taste great, but for the price, like they don't do anything. I would like them to be plumping or just something better than what they do. So I don't know why I keep buying them because I keep thinking that maybe I'm gonna, you know, see some new results. They're just a basic boring lip gloss and I feel like I could get something cheaper at the drugstore. I think they're pretty. I love the way they smell. I love the way they taste. I don't know what the hype is with this. I'm thinking it's the flavor because they're super glossy and the flavor of them is nice, but I don't know, I just think they're overpriced. So I don't know, I've had these for too long, so I'm getting rid of them. A lip gloss that I do absolutely love is by City Beauty. Now, I do have quite a few empties from City Beauty in here, but I have some things that I absolutely don't like. But I will get to that in part two of the City Beauty products that I have in my empties that I did not like. But this is City Lips. I've used this for probably eight, nine years. This is my all time favorite lip gloss ever. This isn't just your basic boring shiny lip gloss. This also is a lip plumper. And for me, this really plumps my lips. And what I started doing recently is I don't just put it on my lips. I will put it above my lip line and then just kind of let it sit while I'm doing my makeup and it plumps even above my lips. I love this stuff. It's my holy grail. I always have this with me. One in my makeup bag, one in my purse. To me, if I'm going to spend a little bit on a lip gloss, I want it to do something, not just to make my lips look shiny. And this not only makes them plump, but it doesn't burn or irritate my lips, but it has a bunch of really good nourishing ingredients for my lips. Anytime my lips are feeling weird and uncomfortable from testing a bunch of stuff, I put my City Lips on and boom, my lips are like healed instantly, but they also look pretty and they're plump and juicy. This is another City Lips that I used up. This one is in the shade Nude York. I love this color. You can't really tell what it looks like, but it's kind of just like a nude, uh, gloss with a little bit of a gold shimmer in it. The other one I used up is my absolute favorite called Tinseltown. And this one is like a sheer pink with silver shimmer in it. Not glitter or chunks or anything like that. It's just a beautiful sheen. This one is the worst blending sponge I've ever used in my entire life. This is by e.l.f. I love a lot of e.l.f. products, but I thought, oh, this would be great. A nice affordable sponge and I love the color. This actually makes me look like I have texture on my face. It might not be your makeup. If you are using this blending sponge and you put on your makeup and you're like, oh, my makeup doesn't look good or my skin's not looking good today, it might be this sponge. This is my favorite brow product. This is by the brand Stila and I do have a 26% off discount code for this brand. I've used so many of these brow products that are like this little felt tip marker and 
I like some of them, but you know, the shade might be off or the way it applies, I just don't love it. I love how this applies on my eyes, but the one thing I like, since I do have combo oily skin, if my skin's oily or if I'm hot and sweaty, you know, here in Texas or when I was in South Florida, this stuff doesn't come off until I take it off with my makeup remover at night. I'm gonna share in a video how I've been doing my brows lately. You know, I'm not a makeup artist, so I don't have like the best makeup techniques, but for me, this works really, really well. I got some mascaras that I've used up and some that I just could not use. They were that bad. And I actually had been testing a ton of different mascaras and I ended up throwing some away. I forgot that I thought, well, darn it, I should have saved them to share in my empties video. So I do have quite a few mascaras that I threw out. This is one I really, really like. This is by Charlotte Tilbury. I don't like a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products, but I did really like this mascara. So I would probably consider buying it again. I do like my City Beauty one, tons better, but this I thought made my lashes look really pretty. These are some other mascaras. I did not like these. This, I use this a few times. This is by Physicians Formula. This is their Butter Blowout Mascara. This has a scent to it. I don't wanna put fragrance on my eyelashes and have it you know, irritating my eyes. And I just didn't like the performance of it. It just, you know, boring, basic mascara. This is one that was sent to me by Wonder Beauty. This is, or Wonder 2, that's who sent this to me. This is their Lash Extension and Curl Mascara. I didn't like it. I used it, I tried it multiple times, but you know, I appreciate it when brands send me stuff to try out, but just because I'm sent stuff in PR does not mean I'm going to give a positive review. Sometimes people send me things that I absolutely love. Sometimes people send me things that I just don't like. And I completely appreciate when brands send me products for free. I mean, that's something that's really fun about what I do is getting to try so many products, but I don't always like everything. It did send an eyeliner that I do like, but I don't really wear eyeliner that often. I just use my uh, eyeshadow, but this mascara, I just didn't like. This was another one I didn't like. Uh, this is by Wet n Wild. It's called Big Papa <laughs> Mascara. I don't know who came up with that name but this made my lashes so dry and crunchy and I just didn't feel like it lengthened them or you know, really made them look that amazing. I thought I was gonna love this one because I looked at the picture of the before and after and I thought, ooh, her lashes look so pretty. I didn't like this one either. This is by Revlon. This is their Big Bad Lash and I don't know, I just, I didn't find it to be that impressive. This is by Flower Beauty. This is their Bitten Lip Stain. I bought every single color when this first came out, I don't know, sometime this year. I thought I liked them at first, but I just don't because as they wear off, they just kind of look splotchy. They look weird on my lips and I just, I didn't care for these. This is my all time favorite lip liner. This is just the last of it. I have probably bought 20 of these over the past 10 years. This is by Estee Lauder Double Wear. Their lip liners, if you are looking for a lip liner that actually stays put, doesn't, you can even use lip gloss and these stay put. This is the shade Brick. I have pretty dark natural lips, so this for a lot of people would be like, whoa, way too dark. If you've tried Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and if you're like, oh, that's perfect, this is probably gonna be so, so dark on you. Pillow Talk is actually lighter than the color of my natural lips, so what's the point in lining my lips with a lighter shade? I do not like Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I like the formula, but I don't like that color. This also comes with a lip brush on the end of it, but you know, it broke off. This was another mascara by Milk. This is their Kush or Kush mascara. I think it's Kush. I think this is the one that has CBD infused in it. I'm not sure, but this was nice. If you're just looking for basic lashes that are separated and lengthened, this is nice for that, but it just doesn't do enough. You know, when I have my makeup on, I just don't feel like it really makes my uh, lashes look amazing, but it is nice. So if I got another sample of it, I would definitely use it, but I probably would never buy the full size. I used up a shape tape. I have a love-hate relationship with Tarte Shape Tape. It is a drying concealer, but I love how full coverage this is. So I have found a way to make this work, and that's why I continue to use this. Now, it's not my all-time favorite concealer. I still don't have an all-time favorite under eye concealer, although I am preparing a concealer video and I have been testing probably 30, 40 different under eye concealers, so it's gonna take me a while before I put that video up, but I do love Tarte Shape Tape for how well it conceals, but I never use this by itself. I have to make sure my eyes are super moisturized underneath, and there's one specific eye cream that I will use with this. I also will only use this with my Color Science 3-in-1, so I will put my Color Science 3-in-1 on first, blend that and then put the smallest dot, like not a triangle or not a ton of it, like a dot, like boop. That's pretty much it of what I'll use for shape tape. And then I just take a finger and I lightly 
uh, blend it in. I don't put this all around here. I only put it right here where I have like this darkness. I'll just put a smidge right there. Or I'll put some right in here in the corner of my eye where it's kind of dark there and it just brightens it up. I don't use much of this at all, but I love, love, love the coverage and I love that this stays put all day. I used up one of my Milani eye primers. I really like this. It's a perfect, affordable eye primer. I always, always, always put a primer on before I do my eyeshadow. It makes it last longer, makes it look nicer. This probably took two years for me to use this up. That's how little amount you need to prime your eyes. This I did not like. This is by NYX. This is their brow glue. When I first tried it on, I thought, ooh, this is really pretty. It, you know, really made my brows look you know, polished. It really put every brow hair in place and locked it in but then it's a glue so as the glue dries it's not clear anymore it just kind of looked like i had like a hint of not white but you could just see you could see it on the brows it just didn't look good and then like when i would look in different lighting instead of my brows looking like brown they looked like they were kind of grayish it was I didn't like it, did not work for me at all. I didn't like this, I got it at Target. This is by Jason Wu. This is their, I don't know which one it is, but it's an eyeshadow palette. And I thought, oh, I love your basic boring beiges, browns, peaches. I love these colors, but they don't look like this on. It's almost as if once you put them on, they all look like the exact same color. I did not like this. This is by Burt's Bees. This is their eyeshadow primer. It just, honestly, it feels kind of a cross between Vaseline and a moisturizer. And I thought, well, maybe it'll dry down and then my eyeshadow will kind of grip to it. It doesn't, I didn't like this at all. And the very last product for this video, this is something I bought to try to clean my makeup brushes with. It's okay, but honestly, I just think using a gentle shampoo or even a bar soap works better than spending extra money on this. This is by Real Techniques, so this was sold next to their blending sponges and their brushes, and it wasn't a bad product, I just, I don't think that buying a separate product specifically for that is really necessary, so I, I won't repurchase it again. That's it for this video. If you want to check out part two, I'm going to pop that video up right here where I'm going to talk about all of my serums, my moisturizers, my eye creams, hair products, you name it, that's going to be in this next video. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.